Well, hi. Welcome back to Glitter 50. Alrighty. How have you been doing? I'm great. So we just celebrated the 4th of July and my anniversary. Oops, a little light is dropping. Um, the 4th of July is my wedding anniversary. Um, when my husband and I got together, I told him and we decided we were going to get married. I said, you get to decide what date we get married on. So that way you'll never forget our anniversary. And he chose the 4th of July. I wore a red dress. Um, he wore, um, white with blue pants and a red tie. Best man wore a red shirt. My maid of honor wore a white dress. My two daughters that were there, my third daughter wasn't there, but um, my two daughters that were there wore a blue um like sundress with a white dress white shirt underneath it it was so pretty so anyway just celebrated our anniversary and the fourth of july and now the weather has decided that it's okay to be super super warm <laughs> i don't like warm i'd rather it be a lot cooler so i'm drinking lots of water Okay, so today I am, this is a Melt Cosmetics brush. Um, the writing's too small. I have no idea what it is. It's just a little shader brush. Um, I am taking my friend to a doctor's appointment. Oh, I'm going to use the little ghost palette from um, Odin's Eye. This is one of my favorite brands. Um, anyway, I'm taking her to a doctor's appointment today. And so I need to get ready. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to get ready to go. Um, and then tomorrow, I actually start driving my summer school route. So I'm um, a little nervous, I guess. A little excited. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's, I've, I've never done a summer school route. Um, oh, sorry, Juice. I'm going to use the dark blue now. It's called Haunted House. I used this blue and it's called ghoulish and now I'm using haunted house. I don't want anything like too terribly. <laughs> I don't want like heavy makeup today, but I just don't do light really well. I'm trying to blend this out and I can use ghoulish to blend it out more, but I like having the darker outside. Anyway, so I have a summer school route because I drive school buses and I really I'm excited to do something a little different. Um, uh, 
and this is the first week of summer school for my particular um, route. It goes for a month. So I'm pretty excited to be doing something different. Something I haven't done before. I mean, it's driving a school bus. So I've done that and I'm picking up kids, but this particular route is for children who are deaf or um, hard of hearing. So that's new. Um, kind of excited about that part. So now that I've gotten this on there, I have like butterflies and it's blue and purple and pink and all the colors. So I'm going to take a little bit, what is this? Little Ghost, this purple shade, a very little bit. Tap it off and I'm going to put it in here which will give me a little bit of definition in this part. I know it looks crazy, but I'm just blending it out. So I do have an assistant, a little bit, tap it out with this route, which will be interesting. Oh, if you hear that, that's Juice. He's one of my dogs. It's warm in this room because I have the door shut and it does not have air conditioning. And being that it is 6.30 in the morning, it's just hot. It's hot in this room. I'm trying to get them even, but this side doesn't look exactly like the other side. You know, they never do. You just have to, they don't have to be perfect. They just have to be good enough. One always does so well, and then the other one struggles. I'm going to take a little bit of the ghoulish and try and blend that one out a little bit more to hopefully make it more even. There we go. That's better. And the part that I'm struggling with is the fact that I guess I'm kind of a perfectionist. Uh, anyway, so we're going to be getting, um, I'm going to be busy working which means I'm going to be doing my makeup more, which hopefully means I will be doing more videos. Um, I have to be to work by seven, my personal thing. I don't think we leave the lot until 7.30. Tomorrow I will go in early because I want to make sure I have everything that I need to have and not have things that I don't need. So yeah. There's that. 
Alrighty. So now I'm going to see, and it has like some of these colors. It that's a motorcycle. It has my shirt. It has all different kinds of colors. So now I'm debating what color to put all over the lid. I kind of want to do this color, but I also kind of want to do this color and I kind of think it's a decision. <laughs> so while I'm deciding, I'm going to put on some Glimmer Grasp. This is from Unearthly Cosmetics. Um, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to let you know. Okay, I know I've said I'm on a no buy because I bought a Frenchie. Um, but um, there's been a lot of releases that have come out and I have been saying, ooh, I want that, ooh, I want that. And then I'll say to myself, no, no, I have those colors. No, no, I have those colors. But Odin's Eye, which is one of my favorites, I'm going to go into this pink, and it is called Boo. I think this is a good color. It's kind of a bluish pink purple and it's more of a topper shade which is kind of what I wanted anyway so this is good um, anyway Odin's eye has come out with a Solomono to moon wish moon something palette and I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> they had also come out with some single shadows. And I was like, ooh, I want that one. Ooh, I want that one. Ooh, I want that one. But I was like, no, no, no. I'm not going to buy any of those. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to... I didn't wait anymore. <laughs> I got them to go with the new palette. Because... I love Odin's Eye. They have some of the best shadows. See, look, they just have, do you see that color? See how pretty that is? It's just beautiful. Cleaning off the glitter off my fingers. Okay, so I'm going to shut that, and because I want to do something kind of light today, I'm color switch, and I'm going to blend the two of them together. There. Um, I'm going to use my Tear Tear Foundation. This one is in 23N Sand. I've been using the 24N Latte. And I like it, but... I think it's a little too yellow for me. So this is the Tear Tear Moon or Milk Skin Toner. It's what I've been using. Um, I really like it too. And I think I've used other primers. Um, I use this as my primer. I've used other primers with this and it doesn't last as long. It doesn't look as good. 
it, it's just not as good. It, it looks like I have barely anything on there, but that's kind of the point. I don't want thick, heavy coverage right now. Because it's so hot, I want just a light, light coverage. And you can do that with this. It, you don't have to put on a lot. And the other thing I have found, see I'm just getting a little bit more to use on my forehead. Is I can use, okay, I stopped using brushes because I didn't want to clean them out. But this is, it says Alien Cosmetic, but it ha Alien has rebranded and they are now called Unearthly. This is an A2. Just to make sure I have the coverage I want. You can use a brush. You can use a sponge you can use the little poof that comes in it this just gives a little bit more but it doesn't like gunk up my brush like other foundations do I think there's just a little bit more. There we go. And that's all I'm doing as far as foundation is concerned. This is the other thing. So one of my favorite perfumes is the Kayali Invite Only. Love the smell of this. Last year for my birthday, my daughter got me the Kiali Elixir 11. It's gone. <laughs> I love it. I also got the um, Kiali Eden Sparkling Liche. This is what I'm wearing today, and it's very light. Um, but they, Kayali came out with a summer fragrance kit and this is almost gone. Um, Glow Wish and Kayali are sold underneath the Hooded Beauty, um, umbrella. And so I wanted the summer fragrance set and I bought it. So I bought some more concealer too. I don't use a lot of concealer. I don't get breakouts. I have a lot of fine lines and there are some concealers that don't really work well with my skin, but this one happens to work really well. I thought they were doing away with this, but they are not. So I was very thankful for that because I really like that concealer. One of you guys told me 
that they were not getting rid of the glow wish. They're getting rid of the wishful line, which again is one of my favorite. I didn't even look to see if they had it. The There's a purple moisturizer that I really like. Oh, my powder. I don't really want to put a whole lot of powder on, but I also don't want to get... This is my Fenty Beauty in Butter. I got this in a BoxyCharm a long time ago, but I don't use a lot of it. So it's lasting me forever. But it doesn't smell bad and so I'm using it. It probably has already gone past its expiration date, but just in my, I guess, eye zone because I go across my chin, up my nose, across my forehead. Uh, I don't know. So. Anyway, so I bought some stuff. I had been doing really well with not purchasing anything because there was a lot of things that I wanted. But I chose, sorry, I'm grabbing my bronzer blush because I'm trying really hard to use this up and we're doing a really good job with the bronzer. I'm not doing so well with the blush, but I think I might finally hit pan here soon. I don't always use this blush, and that's part of the thing, is that I don't always use this blush, but I am always using this bronzer to get it used up into this company is no longer so I can't recommend you go and buy this because it isn't anywhere to buy um, but it's not a bad product it's just it's no longer available. Um, so I'm trying to use it up to get it out of my collection. That's one of the things that I'm kind of um, learning about myself just because makeup is pretty doesn't mean I have to own it all. I want to though, but I have so much. I don't need any more. Um, but it's kind of like clothes and things. I get bored with what I have. I've used it so many times. I've used all the things uh, so part of the new collection with Odin's Eye they are they've come out with more blushes and more highlighters these are the two highlighters that I got from the Solomon 2 collection um, this is Azure Shine, which looks like that. 
and I have used this and used this, but you can still see the embossing. And this is called Lavender Dream. They are different. They don't really look very different, but this is more of a purple and this is more of a blue. And I think I want more of the purple today. My brush. Um, but they have come out with more colors. I did not buy any. Um, I do have two of the blushes. Um, I did not use them, obviously, today because I used that other one. But I do use them. See, I'm... But why is this not coming off? It cannot be... There it is. I couldn't see it, which is, if I can't see my highlighter, that means I didn't have enough on. <laughs> I love some highlight. These are pretty colors, good formula. I could tell you to go out and buy it, but you do what you need to. I love Odin's Eye. I think they are a wonderful brand. They have great makeup. I'm going to spray my face now. Whew. That's a lot. Alrighty, but I can't tell you if, if the new colors for the blush and the highlighters are good or bad. I just know that those ones that I bought were amazing or are amazing. I'm just helping to melt it all into my skin by patting over it with my damp sponge. Okay, I'm going to be right back. Alrighty, so I'm back. I added a little bit of Prance to my waterline and then I took um, Oh, what are they called? I forget the names of them. I took a little bit of this light purple and the dark purple and blended it underneath. And then I took this one and put it on my inner corner. I can't, um, cobweb is what that one's called, just to put it on the inner corner. And now, again, I, I couldn't, I couldn't hold myself back. So I've been seeing this particular mascara everywhere. This is called Fire, Fire Stick, Firework, Firework from Maybelline and, um, but I got mine in a brownish black because I have black mascara. So I thought if I got something a little different, but look at this, the, the wand is like bendable. Another thing, I was watching another video um, uh, from one of the people that I watched, Samantha March. Um, and she was doing what's in our travel makeup bag. Um, her and a friend went to the Hamptons and the lady had a spoon in her travel bag, in her makeup bag. And, um, you know, Samantha was like, 
why do you have a spoon? I, I don't understand why you have a spoon in your makeup bag. And sorry, this is a small version because I thought maybe I would like this. I don't like these. They look like mini torture devices. I have clip my eyelid in them so many times I won't use it. Well this lady said that her aunt showed her how to use the edge of a spoon and you know how you take a knife or the edge of something and you like do ribbon and it makes it curl. She used the spoon in order to curl her lashes. And um, I didn't do that today. I didn't bring a spoon in with me today, but I'm going to find myself a spoon. It has to be kind of thin on the edge, but I'm going to find myself a spoon and I'm going to try that on my lashes because I feel like that might be something I might like. I got a little bit on the inside over here, but Oh my goodness. So I don't think you can really tell that this is a brown. It's not as deep of a color, so maybe in that sense, but, and I've only had this two weeks, so I haven't really figured out if I like it or not. This is only the second time I've used it, so still working on that one. Take out my hair. I have my hair up today because it's hot. Hopefully that looks good. I mean, it'll be, had to get the mascara that I got on my eye out of there. Here's my final look. Oh, I need to get earrings on. But this is my final look for the day. What do we think? I love purple and blue. Well, who am I kidding? I love all colors. Oh, lips. I'm going to use my Lunar Beauty. This is a lip oil and it's a purple color. Um, I don't, I can't read it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It looks purple. Hmm. It has like a grape smell to it, but I don't want anything heavy on my lips. So this is what I'm doing today. Alrighty. So thank you very much for spending the morning with me and please like, share and subscribe. And remember, who's better than you? Nobody. See you later.